This is Sampo Joe. I finished winding an additional number six coil here, south coil, to prepare the way for another addition on uh, finishing coil number two and combined with uh, poles four and five for the uh, north coil. You can see the bent Y configuration on the first pole. I come out of here on the south coil, south half coil, and come around here and finish the north coil here so you can see it, the bent Y of uh, the quad pentagon 10 pole wiring pattern. So now I'm taking pole 2 south coil and I'm going to come around here you can see um, I'm over here I'm coming into 4 and 5 so we'll, we'll come in and I'll do about 20 turns that's what it's taking and you, as you can see at, no, at any given time I don't have to juggle more than five wires using five spools using this uh, method you have to anchor these other spools find a way to anchor as you wind I, I've been uh, just sticking them on the end of the uh, rotors or the uh, shaft seven south coils now from one through seven and a bent okay pole two goes to four and five pole three now will go to uh, five and six for the north pole north half of that coil okay so uh, I have already started it here um, I've been uh, tamping down the coil wires like this okay so this helps a lot okay, so now we are this is the big test here whether I've got the length of the wiring correct uh, as, I, as I'm coming in to fill in this pole north pole around the poles five and six north pole of this coil um, the reason why is this will be the first completely full filled slot um, that I, I'm doing here um, and this will be the ultimate test of whether I've got uh, the rotor completely packed or whether the, the whole thing is wrong at this point it's looking pretty good you can see I got a nice uh, clearance in here should be plenty to get 20, round, 20 winds of coil in here so So it will go in and around like this and five and six and we're going to be winding clockwise for the north pole. You can see that's filling up pretty good. Three winds. and we'll see how that goes okay I finished the uh, winding of uh, third coil and this is the north section between five and six and this is the front face it comes around here and uh, the critical pole here between four and five you see I, I pretty much passed it uh, passed the test uh, all the wire fits so and the rotor is completely full so that's uh, good sizing for this rotor and it happened to be 15 feet per coil 26 gauge wire I finished the 
third complete coil now. This is going to be coils of five and six uh, was completed filling this slot between four and five. Um, as you can see here, as you might be able to see, um, the first one, three and four north coil, goes through this four, slot four here. Of course, uh, slot four has a south coil on it. And then, by what I mean by completely filling it, then uh, we come around and get the other side uh, with the north coil for five, six. Um, you can see it comes around and um, it, it is also in this slot. So we've got a, two south coils either side of this slot and then we got uh, two north coils one winding coming down around here and then the other one coming around here. So this slot will does not get any more wire and as you can see I got good clearance. I got, I got the completely filled and the wire doesn't, doesn't even stick out a bit and a little pressing will make sure of that so uh, as you can see you don't need to have ten spools dangling to, to wind this, you only need five uh, at any given time and um, you wind, now I'll wind one more south coil and then uh, of course one, then I can do one more north coil and I'll go all, go all the way around uh, until all the south coils are wound and then I'll finish up and do all the north coils. Um, I think I made one design mistake on this uh, so far. Uh, I think I have a little too big of a gap here between my commutators. I had no way of knowing exactly how far out this uh, wire would would stick. So and it kind of aired a little bit too much on the uh, uh, long side. I'd like to add in here uh, a technique I've used to ensure that I'm always winding in the correct direction. Okay, this is going to be the blue side is going to be the front face of my motor. And looking at uh, UFO's diagrams uh, the way he draws it that correspond to the front on view of his diagrams. Likewise um, with uh, that means this inner commutator is the back commutator here and this one is the front. Now as I wind I found a real easy way to keep I always wind the south coil with this configuration um, counterclockwise and it would come in from the back coil come in to say coil one and I'm going counterclockwise okay now when I transition to get the to get the best transition to the north coil uh, you have to always see an S pattern between poles so what I mean by that is, and I, I posted on this uh, uh, further back, uh, months back in the thread, I uh, posted this. So we're going counterclockwise here on the south coil. And I'm going to transition to the north coil. Now this is going to go to, um, this is already wound, going into uh, uh, f four, three and four one to three and four skipping a pole um, so and uh, so what, what you get is an S pattern so I'm going counterclockwise and it's going to like be the bottom part of the S it's going to be down here you come up here you go all the way around to the top of the proper poles and you got an S pattern right here so it goes, well, I'll go over, trace it again. It goes like this, this, and this. And then you go about changing the direction of the face-on thing because of a mirror image situation with the coil, but this ensures, 
that you're going in the winding in the correct direction and this, uh, this one will now be clockwise on the North Pole. 